astounding return back to the RWA. The movement is here with a definitive purpose. They feel slighted, they felt cheated, and they simply made an example out of those two schlubs that I once managed. Forget interesting, forget controversial. These boys are here from New York City, and they're definitely going to be shaking things up here at the Renegade Wrestling Alliance. They might not be the fan favorites at current point, but yours truly always was and always will be down with the movement. And that's on record, folks. I'm going to kick it back off to the voice box, who's currently standing by with number one contender for the Triple Crown Championship, Jason Devine. Take it away, voice box. I am joined by Jason Devine. Now, Jason, tonight you face the man who just two weeks ago defeated RWA Triple Crown Champion, the ace Mike Montero. Your thoughts, please. Well, my thoughts on that. I, I, I know what you think. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that if you can beat Mike Rossa, that means you're better than me. You think because of our past encounters, that means you're better than me. But I got news for you, and I got news for everyone, because I feel, I feel like everyone seems to forget. I've been the Triple Crown Champion for six months. For six months, I have turned away every single challenger. Now, what are you going to do? Here comes the insanely talented Jason Devine. Also the number one contender, as Rob Massey just told us. And it's going to be quite the interesting contest right here. We heard from, well, we, we tried to get word from Jason Devine earlier. Mike Montero's had a lot to say about this. And I think Mike Montero might be running scared right about now because he knows Jason Devine poses a huge threat to his Triple Crown Championship reign. Did you know... Jason Devine is seven and one lifetime against Mike Montero. Seven and one. Seven and one. That is a hell of an average. And this man right here just two weeks ago, scored an upset victory over the Triple Crown champion himself. So what would happen if Jason Devine pulls off the victory here today? That, that's got to weigh heavily on the mind of Mike Montero. I mean, that should put him right into contention to be the next the next guy to face Mike Montero. I mean, certainly unless, unless J.P. Hansen can pull it out and you know and win this match and become the triple crown champion i mean personally from my standpoint i don't think that's going to happen of course you're referring to the triple crown championship match taking place next week that would be jp hansen no not jimmy gaga no not jimmy hustle the top gun jp hansen taking on mike montero Mo montero's got a lot on his plate no doubt about it he certainly does Speaking of having a lot on his plate, T. Phoenix noticeably absent from ringside. It's going to be a straight up one on one contest here. I don't expect any uh, trickery. Despite his past, Jason Devine looking to take this head on and, and show everybody he is, in fact, a rightful number one contender to the Triple Crown. There's a collar and elbow tie up. Starting this match very pedestrian. What do people have to do with this? People crossing the street? Pedestrians? Oh, I'm going to get you a Webster's Dictionary, buddy. You do that. And wash your hands because they smell like oranges. They're better than pennies. Oh, 
and he just slapped him right in the carotid artery. Machine gun chops in the chest. And there's a big boot to the skull. Coming back a second time. Not so much. Wow, charged right in with that shoulder block. There's that jawbreaker, comes off the wall, and Jason Devine, there he is with the big boot driver. Two, I don't know whose hand that was that I just saw on camera. Oh my God, trying to get a better shot of the action here. Big suplex coming up, dropped him straight down. Very, very high on the shoulders and neck area. The body slam. Going for the pin. Two. Maybe had him in position for that scrap buster that Devine's known to do. Elected to slam him down instead. That's a firing back here. Now whipped them off. There's a drop kick from Grasa. Looks like Devine almost staggered out of the way there. Caught a bit of it to the shoulder. Grasa staying on the attack right here. Pushed him over. Tumbled him down. Almost some chair bowling right in front of us. You guys are really taking it to each other. Circle in the ring now, back inside. Oh, and there's that. And there's that jawbreaker again from Mike Awesome. Hard clothesline. Mr. Awesome. Ah. Mike Awesome certainly on the attack here. Looking for that pump handle. Series of reversals here. Jason Devine going up and over in, in the uh, Northern Light Suplex. Mike Grassa. Uh-oh. What's he looking for? He might be looking for that, that Pele style kick. Uh oh. Mine had it, had it scouted. Oh, and there's that, there's that version of the angle slam that the Vine does. Two. Mike also barely kicking out of that. Now you're just doing it on purpose. I am doing it on purpose now. The Vine going up. Cut off by Mike Grasso. And there's the Pele kick. Divine all the way to the outside. Falls off the top turnbuckle to the apron, to the floor. Jason Divine, the insanely talented wrestler here in the RWA, looked like a pinball. Referees up to five could very well be a countout victory by the television champion here. Oh, he barely makes it, rolls right in. Going for the CMS. Oh, look at this. Through. He and got him. That's it. Jason Devine rolled through, hooked the legs right up, nowhere to go from Mike Grassa. The expression on Grassa's face says it all. Devine surprised him right there. Tough, tough loss by the television champion. Thankfully a non-title match, but this one had a lot of championship implications. And a great sign of respect by both men right here. Truly a competitive matchup. Once again, we will shoot it over to Bobby Rossi standing by in the studio as Jason Devine takes a moment to celebrate here with the fans. Take it away, Rossi. <laughs> 